Hey guys, today I thought I would bring you all a very special um, video review of the Transformers Animated The Complete Allspark Almanac. Now, uh, as for those that don't know, this is uh, basically a mixture of um, the Allspark Almanac 1 and uh, the Allspark Almanac 2 um, with uh, some extra content, I believe. Um, now, I can't really point out what is the extra content. Um, simply because I only owned the first Allspark Almanac and never got my hands on the second one. Um, so it's very, very nice to uh, be able to have both my old one and the new one. Um, and I guess the extra content thrown in as well. Um, so, start off, uh, here's the cover. Um, very, very nice. It's a nice... Uh, you know, look at all the characters in there, or most of them at least. You have Omega Supreme, Megatron, Optimus with the Matrix. Uh, you even have like a cheat tour over there, which is pretty nice. So, hopefully that uh, glare won't be a problem here in a second. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, you have some, I guess, some animation designs or whatever. Um... I'm not going to go through each page, probably. I'm probably just going to go through some main parts. Like, uh, on this page, you see Optimus Asari. And on this one, you see, like, a like a mirrored universe Asari and Motor Master. So, that's pretty cool, I suppose. But, um, yeah, we're going here. Here's the table of contents. It uh, goes through, uh, I guess, part one and part two, I guess, being the second version, even though... I guess this is more of a uh, forwards is what it says. Um, so I guess this goes through like most of the characters. Cause this goes through like you know toy design, animation, season four, toy gallery, hero, packaging arc, span the universe, and the cast. While this you you know deals with you know the characters and things like that. So yeah. <clears throat> and uh, over here you have like, these nice animation cells or like. You know, and they made the looking versions of uh, Foster, um, Sorensen, and another one of Sorensen right there. And I guess that's Foster right there getting taken up by a snake. So, and look, you got Krim Zeeks. If you remember that from G1. And my display is starting to. There we go. Sorry about that. But, <clears throat> yeah, moving on up. Um, I'll just go through just a couple characters. Um, that's a forward. By David K, I believe. Yeah, by David K. Uh, yeah, here you have Optimus Prime. Um, I'm trying to get the camera tilted as best as I could. Um, I'll just pick it up. If it gets shaky, I'm sorry. But yes, yeah, so there's Optimus Prime. Um, off his, you know, trailer accessories. Very G1 looking. You have Ratchet. Prowl, and it's Prowl of Samurai armor. It's Bumblebee. Um, Bulkhead. Now, you know, this is like like your standard All Spark Almanac One stuff. Um, Ultra Magnus, uh, Sentinel Prime, Jazz, Blur, mainly the Elite Guard, you know. And there's Jetfire and Jetstorm, you know, and they ended up. Of course, combining to um, to safeguard the actual robot safeguard, not the group. But yeah, and here's some really nice ones like Die like Die Atlas, um, Erector, which sounds kind of perverted, but okay. Um, it's Warpath, Cup, very very cool. Um, Metal Hawk. Rad, uh, I'm not sure who that is, but okay. Uh, Lion Kaiser, of course, there's Rekdar, which y'all know him from the show for sure. Boy, spotting another other than uh, Weird Owl. So, so Donobot, so Grimlock, Snarl, Swoop. There's a Rodimus Prime. They actually didn't call him Rodimus Primer. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Rodimus Minor in this, uh, which I was actually very surprised to actually call him Rodimus Prime. 
because I remember him always being referred to as um, Rodimus Minor. So, yeah, and there's him with like, the cosmic rust infection, there's inner John Bow and whatnot. So I haven't really got to read much of this yet, uh, but I, I can't wait to read this one because it's because um, you know if, if you know about the Allspark Almanac, it's um, read by the um, perspective of other characters. And uh, this bio is written by Cup. And you know Cup and Rodimus' relationship in the G1 movie was it's always quite funny. Uh, but yeah, anyways, moving on. There's Brawn. Uh, there you have a hot shot. Very Armada looking. Red Alert, which is a female. Don't like that idea. I thought that was kind of stupid, but, you know, whatever. Ironhide. There's RC, Shockwave, or Long Arm Prime. Whoops. Spoiler alert. Yokotron. Very Samurai Prowl looking, of course. There's a Spark Extinguished. Spark Chamber. Alpha Trion. Very, very cool looking. Um, and oh god, here's Wheelie. And it's, it's pretty bad because the. Um, one who writes this is Sea Spray, and they pretty much write this uh, acknowledging how annoying Wheelie is. Uh, so, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, this Perceptor it was a very, very weird voice in the show, but still, there he is. Uh, there's Will Jack, very nice. Mainframe. Botanica, I've never really heard of her before. Sea Spray, Battle Trap, or, you know, Rat Trap, as we all probably know him. Um, but, the Grandis. So, there's him. Um, here we have Sea Gary, or I'm sorry, Sky Gary, which uh pretty sure is supposed to be. Um, Star Saber from the looks of it, or I, I don't know, but it's what it kind of reminds me of. So, there's Doug Base. Not sure how that's supposed to be, but okay. There is a uh, Power Glide. Very, very cool looking, actually. I actually really, really like that. I don't think I've seen this picture yet. So that's pretty nice. There's Mirage. Cosmos, he's pretty cool looking. I noticed a lot, like most of the mini boss look pretty fat, with the exception of Mumblebee, just kind of and Cliff Jumper, just kind of funny. There's tracks with this pretty cool looking shades, if you can see that. Beachcomber, highbrow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, go through the rest of these Autobots real quick, so we can move on to Decepticons. So, if you want to pause it, you can, but. There you go. Getting into some throttle bots looks like. It's pretty cool. Hubcap. Bumper. The two, uh, you know, kind of strange G1 characters. There's some film bots. Rosanna. So there's some uh, blasters of uh, his cassettes and two little squirrels. So <laughs> looking that watch is kind of funny. <clears throat> some Beast Wars, you know, Cheetor. G2 looking side spot. There's another Beast Wars character, Death Charge. So I believe it was. Chromia. I'm a film bot. Flashpoint looks like uh, Red Alert's kind of body. So, as that would like RC's. Minerva. Very, very cool. Look at RC looking robot. Yeah, if you can 
see that drift. I think that may uh, that be might be a girl in that one. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I wish we could have got a American toy of this guy, but of course it's only you know Japanese, which is really unfortunate. But if we can play Optimus. No, this is night. Uh, night, high contrast day. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know, look at Bumblebee. I guess that's him under like emergency lights or something. That's what it says, I think. I don't really know. Okay, here we get into some, into some Decepticon. There's Megadron, of course. Starscream with the uh, spark fragment. You know, that's in his forehead. You can see. Uh, there's bombs. Uh, this is, you know, clone I, bodies, I guess. I don't really know. There's Lugnut. Poke. Blitzwing with all three faces and all three forms. Again, it's more Beast Wars stuff. Black Arachnia, you know, she played a pretty big role in the show. Uh, well, the animated, of course. Shockwave, there's this long arm prime configuration, as I kind of slipped on earlier. <laughs> Swindle, again, this is most of like, of like your All Spark, All One Neck One stuff. Oh, no, this is pretty cool. Uh, Soundwave's avatars. I'm a big fan of Soundwave, so that's pretty damn cool. That's that one activator toy that's pretty hard to find, and there's like the Sound Blaster looking one. That's very, very, very cool. Red Bat and Laser Beak. That's that's pretty cool too. I like that. And it's written by none other than Soundwave apparently. So very, very, very cool on that. I love that. It's locked down. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, let's lock down. Constructicons, um, you know, Mixed Master and Scrapper. So. It's pretty neat. Oh, and they also added in Dirt Boss, which was a pretty neat little character in the show. I liked him. So, yeah, I wonder if they ever did form the Devastator like if they, you know, ended up were planning on to. I wonder if he would be like the head, maybe. I don't know, but. I always kind of wondered. Slipstream. Another film bot. The show actually had like a good amount of film bots, actually. And there's Starscream's clones, you know, Thundercracker, Ramjet, Sunstorm, Skywarp. Some more Beast Wars. There's Waspinator. Very, very, very neat. Written by Black Arachnia. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, General Stryka. That's pretty neat. Oil Slick. Oil Slick, uh, never really was a big fan of his character just because, uh, he really wasn't in there too awful much, but he does look pretty badass, I think. You can kind of see his head in there. Probably not picked up on the camera, but you can kind of see it in there in person. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it. So that's pretty cool. Cyclonus. Too bad that we, get, that we didn't get a toy of this guy. I seen somebody do a custom, it was beautiful, but still, would have liked an actual toy. Blackout, hard to find toy, at least, you know, in, in the U.S., but. Here's some Sundicons, Motor Master, Wild Rider, another film bot, an RC form drag strip, which I thought was kind of stupid they did that, but whatever. Breakdown, dead end, and uh, this isn't a Sundicon, but there's Toxitron, so. Um, and moving on, this is very, very neat, I think. The Lord High Governor Straxus. Straxus, that, that looks beautiful. Very, very G1 looking, and just the face looks amazing. That is awesome. Slapper. Scalpel, very Avenge of the Fallen looking, of course. Magnificus, or whatever. Kind of looks like a set the Conferceptor. So. And, uh,. Bugly, now this is all uh, some new stuff I didn't, you know, really notice before until I, I mean, I kind of went through this the other day and I seen this, I thought it was kind of neat. It's Bugly, which this is all like a, like, like black form, I'm sorry, blackout looking robots. So there's Bugly, Grinder, Venom, so that's kind of neat. Of course, Grinder, he was in the movie, but I think they pronounced him as Grindor instead of Grinder, but there is a Grindor character in here as well, 
you know, so it's kind of strange. But yeah, so there's Nemesis Prime, Dark Rodimus, Skipjack, which I guess is supposed to be another um, Constructicon, so at least I guess so. Transformations, a little Crimp Seek again, so that's pretty cool. I haven't really looked at this too much, but there you go. Ah, uh, here's some humans. I'm going to go ahead and skip through this, you know, quite, quite fast, because who cares about humans? So, if you want to pause and uh, see who, who, each, who each character is, you can go right ahead, but here we go. Uh, Angry Archer, stupid little girl, uh, <laughs> nerdy looking dude. I remember her. She was kind of stupid also. All the humans were just, eh, in this show. But at least they did something, so. Headmaster. Could be pedophile looking dude. That's a pretender looking creature. I thought it was kind of cool looking. Nice little nod to G1. Sorry, it's upgraded. So sorry, sub neck. It is upgraded. Cybertronian form, I guess. It's like the uh, proto form. I guess like the baby looking. Sorry. So, yep. Another Kim Zeke picture. Kim Zeke is in here a lot, it seems. Now that I'm actually going through it page by page. So uh, I guess it's just uh, random information, I suppose. Um, this is uh, events, it says. Uh, I guess these are like a logs from each character, uh, like journals. Like this is one, it's reported by Optimus Prime. There's like a, you know, really torn apart Megatron and. There's like a really, really young looking Isaac Sumdeck. Um, I think this one, yeah, this is actually written by Isaac Sumdeck, it says. So, you know, the Optimus, again, this one's by Optimus. Uh, oh, this is a pretty neat uh, Vector Prime. Interesting. Have to read that. Um, but. Reported by Optimus Prime. Again, Optimus Prime. I don't know if they're all about Optimus Prime. Okay, yeah, here's one by Megatron. Encrypted. Megatron's encrypted in internal log. So this is uh strange. <laughs> like it right, you know, some kind of magazine looking page. It's strange. So not sure what that's about. But, yeah, moving on from that. Okay, yeah, there's one by Ratchet. So, well, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, customers, item name, serial number. I guess this is like, uh, I don't know, like sales or something. So, it's kind of strange. Evaluation form, which kind of looks like G1 tech specs. Interesting. Through some all this, there's that um that one fast looking dude who reverted in age on an accident. Yeah, I see Allspark Drain. Sorry, which he's like kind of old, and weird looking. <laughs> Halloween costume. Oh, this is pretty. Um, that one Professor Princess Pinkie Pie looking weird thing. A sassy looking picture of Starscream, which I think that she put makeup on him and the comics from the show I can't remember, but yeah, pretty uh, strange. Some more logs. Uh, it's like this is like a newspaper type of thing. Lug nuts, eternal log, and just moving on. This is pretty much all. I'm not sure what all this is about, but kind of interesting looking. So. 
But moving on. Ooh, it's a really damaged looking Megatron. That's kind of cool looking. He has no head, so. <laughs> yeah, pretty nice. Let's see, we'll. Garbage. I am Rekgar. Um, Yatter. <laughs> so Twitter, Yatter. So that's written by the headmaster guy, so that's pretty funny, I guess. Some pictures with him using the headmaster unit, so. Yeah, pretty cool. Some tattered, I guess, beat up looking Bumblebee images. Ultra Magnus's injuries. Pretty cool. Oh, that's showing the components I made up Dirt Boss, so. Okay, what's this? Oh, it's like Waspinator's <laughs> paper. It says, please help. Waspinator, Waspinator, stuck on stupid planet. and <laughs> Stuff like that, so. There's a crab. Roseanne alive. Interesting. Scarecrow looking uh, scrapper. Kind of weird, but okay. Uh, it's like a magazine or something, maybe. Or a newspaper, I don't know. The G1 looking sideswipe colors. Space bridges, pretty cool. This is, like, this is uh, the culture. And I guess like a uh, Cybertronian mode um, characters. It's like a little maze type of thing. It's kind of looks interesting to kind of play on, I suppose. But from some back robots on Earth, of course. Bulkheads art. Christmas. Auto Men, that was a very interesting show, kind of, or episode, going back to the G1 episode where Ultra Magnus, RC, and I think Hot Rod were all humans, so, <laughs> kind of funny. The media. Ninja Gladiator, that's kind of strange. You probably recognize that from G1, so, <laughs> very cool. Oh, sorry about the camera shaking this, guys. Um, I'm kind of holding this by hand right now. But anyways, space barnacles. It's the affected prowl bumblebee. And the big bug from the first one. So, stupid organic spot. Sentinel Prime. <laughs> it's just cats, deers, dogs, rabbits, bears. I guess wasp. Bugs. Hamsters, you know, random things. Uh, rock lords, interesting. I guess they're supposed to transform into like meteorites or something. I don't really know. But... Scooter slash jetpack. Oh, sorry. Autobot shuttle. Um, electronic paint is pretty cool. Gray, you know, long arm prime. And Shockwave's true colors as the purple Shockwave. Wasp as Bumblebee. And Bumblebee as Wasp. It was a very funny episode. <laughs> and that's what they actually look like without the helmets, I suppose. Very ugly looking Wasp, but kind of a funny looking Bumblebee. So, <laughs> Equitron's helmet. I guess those are just the helmets that are on all of the characters, like, you know, Lockdown, for example. And, uh, here, here's some very, very nice nods of the G1 Seekers. The nice little, you know, side burn looking things, and the, you know, I guess the uh, cone heads. Um, which I think Swindle brought out, which is kind of cool. There's like Blitzwing, those are Magnus' helmet, and the ugly looking Black Arachnia's face style helmet, so. 
protoforms. This is kind of beast wars looking, so you know again. Very strange. The Matrix chamber. Just says right there. I wonder if that's supposed to be like the core of the you know, Cybertron, maybe like promises, you know, spark. It's kinda cool. I guess, I don't know. Conehead looking, you know, second team seekers. Talks about the process of cloning and whatnot, I suppose. Um, just some random crap powers over there. Mirror universe. Very nice. Bumblebee seems to be like a very, very creepy character, according to, uh, sorry. It doesn't really talk about the Decepticons, though, unfortunately. So, kind of wish it would, though, but. Very creepy looking. Sorry, from the beginning I was showing. Mirror Bumblebee is he, he, he. Very ugly looking. I some back in the Mirror Universe, but, yeah. There's that. For a second, that said so long Illuminati Rockstar, but it doesn't. <laughs> um, Criticon's very cool Inferno. For the rule, for the royalty, or whatever, as he as he used to say in Beast Wars. Black Arachnia. Uh, moving on. Ultra Magnus. Kind of interesting. Motor Master. Interesting as well. Crimson Zeke yet again. I wish I would have kept this, the G1 looking prowl. I think I like that better than the, you know, more standard looking prowl. But, yeah. This is just about Detroit. Uh, Detroit. Sorry, I can't talk today. Who cares about the city? Blah, 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 blah. We're just going to skip through all this. Hydra. Cancer Evangelist. Nice nod. So, <laughs> good job, Evangelist. And the others. Tigatron Stadium. <laughs> nice. Oh, look. Nice nod. I have to, uh, you know, down a lot. Fossil fuel. Organic inhabitants. This is pretty neat. Spark plug. Kind of looking guy. Let's see if we can find any more G1 looking characters. Um, I don't think I see any on this page. To my naked eye. If you can find any, let me know. If I don't spot them already. So, there's that page. I guess it's only going to show a spark plug. I don't think it showed Spike or Daniel or anybody. This is kind of a shame. But, uh, I don't think that's supposed to be Spike. <laughs> so, yeah, but let's move on. Emergency responders are back there and earth vehicles and things we probably don't care about. Maybe that's a nod to Motormaster. Who knows? So, maybe I just have to kind of nod. Crimson Get Again, Style Guides. That's, like, that's an actual picture of some product. So, interesting. Don't know what that is. Who cares? This is very cool. Cybertron and its moons. I kind of went over this a little bit, and it's about Ultra Magnus, and it said that I don't really know too much about the race. Um, but, it, like, Legends, yeah, it says, uh, Shrouded by Legends, 10 billion years old, Perceptor, uh, conjectures that it evolved naturally, a sort of um, antigenesis, a few whisper that it was created as a factory world by some ancient power, like the Quintessons of G1. Our oldest legends speak of a class of pro uh, primordial titans older than time. Personally, I decline to speculate. Obviously, they, those two titans are Primus and Unicron, so. Kind of like in G1 and Cybertron and whatnot, so very cool. Kind of leaves it open to your choice, I suppose, or both. Got solar system map. Huge, huge map. Which will take some time to point everything out, I think. And it has like a little, you know, key over here for it all, so that's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Flock territory. Interesting. Septicon Empire. Quintesson Pangalactic. Nebulon Republic. Huh. I may have to uh, read that for sure. Iacon. And some other characters. If you want to read that. Scrounge. 
from the G1 uh, comic with a blaster. I think that one was uh, Into the Smelting Pool, the issue. So very, very cool. So I love that story. The Metroplex. <laughs> nice, nice, nice nod to characters. So, yeah. RC with all the stuff plugged into her. Um, Fortress Maximus. Again, very nice nod for sure. Powered Convoy. That's very nice. Uh, some random pictures right here. There's a knockout from Transformers Prime, which is kind of strange because Transformers Prime came after all this. Um, so I have no idea what the hell all that's about. You know, like, like they're strong off from the new R.I.D. series, so I'm not sure if this is like a new page or I don't know, but that really doesn't make any sense. I guess it has to be in order in order to have, you know, knockout and strong arm in there from the new series so we're looking for a few good bots autobot camp tryptocon prison <laughs> very cool this is a background so that's the same one just in different lighting and times of the year and whatnot so settings blah 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 I'm just going to skip through this. We're already running about 30 minutes, so I'm going to try to kind of sum all this up. I think I said at the very beginning it wasn't going to go through all the pages, but I accidentally did. So, there's Dinobot Island. Soundwaves Lab. Well, that was another Krim Zeke. Autobot Burkers. Omega Supreme. Steel Haven. Sounds very familiar. I can't remember what that's from. If you know, leave it down in the comments below. But, yeah. Steel Haven Brig, whatever. Sunstorm Clamped. Oh, yeah. Here's some, um, the giant lug nut from the ending of the show. Some nice pictures of the Japanese toys. Part 2. Very cool. No, so they're all like playing like RC, you know, vehicles with like the G1 looking Optimus and the G1 looking Bumblebee. So that's pretty cool, I think. So this is like just pictures of the Autobots overall, I suppose. Forward Part Two. Some more character drawings. Is that Derek J. Wyatt? I'm not so sure who that guy is, but okay. Toy design. I guess showing how they made it. Design breakdowns. Just like lockdown, you know, the repaints and things of that nature. Guess those are like computer models. Those are the toys. There's the actual prototypes, I suppose. Very, very, very cool, for sure. Early Jet Twins concept art, so pretty cool. Early treatment, just some information about the toys and the process of making them, I suppose. But there's the cast and crew of animated. Um, season 1. Season 2. Recording season three. There's recording over there, and there's season three. Sound and music. Now, here's a page that I'm pretty sure everybody is going to be very interesting or very interested in. Ah, sorry, I cannot talk this morning. <laughs> but yeah, season four. The season that. Never was, unfortunately. Um, at least they go through like each episode, which from was it sounds like it would have been very very cool to watch all of this. So it goes through all that. Like there's like the season finale. Yeah, two part season finale right here. So there's Ironhide, 
Got like a G1 knob with a whole, you know, face mask thingy. You can see it right there also. Now, a nice little thing right here. Uh, if you remember, Animated came out uh, whenever the 2007 movies did also. And the 2007 movie cast was Ratchet, Optimus, Bumblebee, Jazz, and uh, Ironhide. Well, not only did they include those characters to kind of make a nod in the movies, but they also painted them to do so, uh, with the exception of Jazz. He kind of looks the same. Yeah, there's like a movie-inspired Ratchet. There's a movie-inspired Optimus with the flames. Movie-inspired Bumblebee with the two racing stripes instead of just the one. Again, Jazz doesn't, doesn't really look different. And there's like a black iron hide and like a Sentinel Prime looking robot body. So very, very, very cool. I like that because this is more like my nostalgia. This is kind of like what I grew up with. Um, I'm 17 now, so. Um, but yeah. Very cool. Hot shot designs. Um, a word from Hasbro is saying that basically these are never going to be produced. A glimpse of what might have been is what it says. And man, I wish it was. But the Marauder looking Megatron. Man, I wish we were, that we could have got these toys. I wish that we, that we still could, but you know. Sturge, I think, right there. Just showing some random stuff. Um, most of the toys. right here I want to do some reviews on these guys because I have most of these but there's still some I really need to get like the ones I had from my childhood which I no longer have unfortunately there's only a couple I have or like one I have that survived the animated uh, toys I used to have so but <clears throat> blackout again with two you know these are, these are the Japanese ones we never could get. Hydro Job Bumblebee and the Wing Blade Optimus Prime, which is pretty expensive, but I really want to get that someday, hopefully. Um, because that looks amazing. And there's a red iron hide, which is much appear to the uh, orange one, I think. Thunder Crapper. Uh, Crapper? Wow. I'm sorry. Uh, Thunder Cracker. Um, very interesting. Could have wished, you know. That we could have got him, but you know, we can never really get our full team of seekers, unfortunately. At least, you know, then we haven't. Recently, we have been, but you know, they, these are unreleased toys, just some, you know, repaints that we never could get. Like that, you know, Fugitive Wasp and it would have been pretty cool. I wish we could have got another head, but you know, again, didn't get it. Toxic Oil Slick, Goldfire Grimlock, and a Mercenary Swindle. These are fan club exclusives, obviously. People are probably, you know, very familiar with the uh, Wild Rider, uh, Breakdown, Drag Strip, Dead End, and the Motormaster, as they call it, the Motormaster. You know, the Stunticons, which came out, I think, in uh, BotCon 2008, was it? I can't remember. It may say somewhere here. I don't know. I'll have to read through it later. Move some of this stuff. Oh, there's my display falling down. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to move over my book real quick. So, yeah, you know, there's some exclusives and things of that nature. Toxic drawn, Cheetor. <clears throat> it's kind of weird because, like, this is face sticking out of a random corner. It's kind of creepy, but <laughs> whatever. Hero, I think that was a, I think that was supposed to be the title of the show before it was Transformers Animated. So, moving on, like there's like some concepts what Ultra Magnus could have looked like, or what Jetfire could have looked like, and what Prowl could have looked like, you know. So, Rhinox, interesting. Hot and Hot Shot, so. This is the packaging art, which is very, very nice. The packaging art was always great on these guys. And they're like, you know, the unreleased ones. Um, so, that's what that would look like, I guess, for the Goldfire Grimlock. Which I think it said it wasn't released. So, just some, you know, toy packaging.
Man of the Universe, Transformers Fan Club. There's a nice picture of Wasp Manita right there. I think, that, I think that's for the Hall of Fame. But yeah, the Hall of Fame trophy. And an image by Matt Frank. So. Fan Club. Getting into the last couple of pages, the arrival. And the comics thing is what this is kind of going over, like the tied in comics. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, this right here is just, you know, I guess words um, from, I, I guess, the, the cast and crew or something, the ones maybe who made the book. Um, a word from Hasbro. And just some ending images. I think this is just, you know, there's a random art that goes through here. Oh, no, look, there's still some more. This is some. I think this is a timeline. Yeah, it's nice. Very, very cool. Has a really nice looking timeline. So. Yep. Yeah. Afterward. And some finishing images. And then some extra stuff on the back. So, guys, uh, that's about it. Um, sorry this video is so long. I hope that... Uh, you guys enjoyed if you, if you've gotten to this point uh if you've watched it continuously uh <laughs> i applaud you um but yes this book is very 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 nice it's very very thick um a lot more thicker than i thought it would be uh the first half is more of like your Osborne almanac and the second half is more of like your um kind of like the transformers vault uh but just for animated almost um so very, very cool. I got this for about $40 shipped from Amazon. Um, Amazon, I don't know. I got it from, you know, a guy on Amazon. And the packaging, as you can see, kind of has a little bit of nicks right there. And because he put it in the box, there was like no, you know, bubble wrap or anything. So be aware. But still, it arrived, you know, in good shape. But yes, the complete All Spark Almanac. You guys can find it. If you're a big fan of animated, big fan of G1, and you love books like this, buy this for sure. Because I'm very sure it will go for a ton of money after all of um, the product has been sold, like on eBay and things. So, anyways, so guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.